Hey, I'm Joe Wurzberger. Hi, Joe. Tim Harris. So, Tim, let's go way back to the beginning. What made you want to become an actuary? I think it started with, uh, my, I've always had an interest in math, and in spite of myself, I got a job as uh, an actuarial student at a startup insurance company straight out of school, was off and running. As a young actuarial person out of school and going through my exams, I had a chance to do all sorts of different types of actuarial work, um, and I felt like I was really contributing to the growth of the company. So somewhere along the lines, you decided to change your path a little bit. You got interested in predictive analytics. 15, 20 years of my career, I think, were fairly traditional actuarial roles. I joined my current company in 2009, and a lot of the work that we as a firm had been doing centered around gathering and analyzing policyholder behavior and mortality type data across the annuity industry. As we thought about how to do that better, um, to bring some predictive analytics type tools to bear on that work. Really trying to translate all that experience data into prospective assumption models for the future um, in a very rigorous mathematical way. I had heard and read a lot of talk about predictive analytics and life insurance and annuities. The one particular um, thing that really triggered my interest subsequent to that was trying to do some work myself translating um, some policyholder behavior experience data for annuities, translating all this complex data into a set of assumption models. Um, and using traditional techniques, that's very hard. And I remember struggling with that. The more I thought about it and the more I kept reading things about predictive analytics, I realized that um, these techniques are the techniques you need to help deal with the, that problem I was dealing with. That, that's when it became real to me. It went from something that just seemed like a buzzword, a, a solution looking for a problem, if you will, to something that I could see how you could use these techniques to solve problems. So Tim, what advice would you give a company who is anticipating doing some predictive analytic work but is not currently planning on having actuaries work on it? I've seen examples over the last five, ten years or so where companies have hired a whole bunch of really bright, highly credentialed, quantitative type people that were not actuaries, and they may be doing really good technical work, um, but I've just found that um, it, it doesn't result in solutions that get implemented and embedded in the business processes.